What's up guys, Josh here. Wanted to show you a new toy. It's the Harbor Freight router speed controller. So this thing basically says it's a, it's a speed controller for most anything with brushes. And that's what I've read on the forums. Uh, why they call it a router speed controller instead of a tool speed controller or a machine speed control, I have no clue. So I don't know if it's just something that they, uh, I don't know, is it illegal to say it's a, that it can control the speed of other tools? I have no clue. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was how it worked on other tools besides a router. Uh, in my experiment, I actually found out that it actually works best on a router, but I'll show you <laughs> that way you can see. Now this thing, cool little speed controller. Uh, fuse built into the top, so yeah, yeah, I unscrewed that to access your fuse. I have not actually disassembled that, but we have a couple basic features here. Let me see if I get uh, proper lighting here so you can read that. We have variable, if you click it to the, to the, well, the right side of the switch, variable. Center is off. Left side is full power. So it pretty much just bypasses the wheel, your, your, your uh, dimmer, and uh, gives you full power. So you really could use this as an on and off switch itself, just on and off. I mean, of course, turning the machine on its off position is definitely good for safety. <laughs> so yeah, what if, what if somebody else swaps plugs out and turns it in and the machine actually kicks on because you didn't actually turn off the machine? That's a different situation. So now, next thing is you plug into the bottom. So this thing just sits, it's just a bypass cord. It just sit, you know, sits in between your machine and, your, and the actual outlet. So let's plug it in. I'll show you what she does. All right, router speed control is plugged in. Let me plug my router into this. All right, so that's all plugged in. I recommend start it on high first. I don't know, what, but again, I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know how you're using it. And I will tell you right now, I am not responsible for anybody breaking anything. I did not endorse this product. I'm not saying hook this up and burn out any of your tools. And yeah, so don't blame me if you burn it out. We're square? Good. All right, so let's set this aside. I think we all understand what that is. All right, I'm turning on my machine first. All right, now power control from this. Full power. Buzz is like crazy, but again, that's the way I built my router. This table is a homemade job. I had a pretty crappy little router that I just mounted to a steel base. Yeah, no, it's not the, the, the best situation here, but uh, I, had, I was using what I had. So... This thing, let's kick it in variable speed now. Don't forget to turn off the machine too, so yeah. As you can see, I'll flip this guy off. Okay. So no matter what, alright, my machine is safely off now. Alright, now that being said, this thing worked awesome on the router. This is a piece of crap router, old school little piece of crap router. Uh yeah. This is not a professional tool. Set that aside. Let's see how it works on an angle grinder. Get him at, uh, just got up to four minutes and 20 seconds. Let's try to keep this under six minutes here. Oh, it ain't gonna happen. All right, let's keep it under eight minutes and be realistic. All right, so full power. I'm holding down my trigger. All right, that was full power. Let's go variable speed. I'm in low speed, low. You guys see that here? That way you can kind of see the deep pressure. That 
actually worked not bad. I mean, it's it didn't have any uh, true lack of power. I mean, I'm not. This is honestly it's cedar. This is not that it's a uh, heavy wood or anything, but. The grinder still had enough power to sand and do its job properly at a lower speed. I have no clue what that low speed is. I have no clue what RPM it is. I am not. A, I, I have no clue how the hell you would even check that. So, all right, let's turn the, the turn the, the speed controller off. Let's set this guy aside. So, grinder seemed to be a success. I've got a crappy Harbor Freight angle grinder at home. And I'm hoping that this thing will convert it to a variable speed. Now, belt sander. This is a crappy Delta belt sander. Nothing special. Let's plug this guy up. All right. Get it on. I'm at full power. Off. Variable speed. All right. Let me get this to the side here so you guys can see this. Fine, fine, fine. She gets very iffy once you get to medium. Yeah, they're right there. I'm not even low yet. Oh, yeah. See, it's not even turning. Let's get this guy rolling again before I burn out my motor. Okay. We're a medium right now. like. Uh, that kind of scares me. I'm afraid I'm going to burn out my motor. So it does not work on the sander. It just doesn't work. Let's turn it off. Turn this off. Let's try it lastly on the drill press. It's a crappy Craftsman drill press. Alright. Power on. Things spinning. I'm sure you can see the chuck spin. That's full power. Off. Variable speed now. All right. Oh, looks like she wants to shut off. Okay. Yeah. So, obviously she doesn't have enough power to control, turn your uh, drill press into speed control. So guys, that was it. Seven minutes. I'm right at eight minutes like I was promising. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. You know, I can't tell you to click on any links, but you know, that helps fund uh, the project. But no, don't do that. That's not, uh, that's frowned upon by, uh, by uh, YouTube. So, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, give me a heads up, man. I'm always here and willing to try to destroy something as long as I don't truly have to pay, pay for it out of pocket. You know, and that's what this channel is for. Right? You know, I want to show guys, you know, what I'm discovering. And, uh, and honestly, that's what I learned from YouTube. I, would, I watch everybody else's videos and see what I can learn. You know, that's what we're here for. Guys, thanks a lot. Take care.